Honorable Union Minister of State for Science and Technology, Shri Jitendra Singh Ji, Honorable Union Minister of State for Tourism, Shri Ajay Bhatt Ji, Lieutenant Governor of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, Shri Manoj Sinha Ji, G20 Sherpa Shri Amitav Kant Ji, G20 Chief Coordinator, Mr. Harshwardhan Shringla, delegates from G20 member countries, guest countries and international organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to welcome all the India's G20 presidency. It is my pleasure to extend a heartfelt welcome to all the esteemed delegates representing G20 member countries, guest countries and representatives of international organizations. These are common goals in the tourism sector. It has been an endeavor of the Ministry of Tourism to provide delegates a varied experience of India's cultural and natural heritage. The first meeting of the working group was organized in the western parts and remnants of early human civilization. The run of Kutch provided a remarkable experience to our delegates. The second tourism working group meeting was organized in the eastern part of India in Siliguri and Darjeeling located in the state of West Bengal. The region with its breathtaking views of lush green hills, scenic mountain vistas, tea estates and cultural diversity offered a truly enchanting experience to all the delegates. And now for the third meeting, we have gathered in the northern part of India in this beautiful Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. This picturesque destination set amidst the majestic Himalayas, boasts of captivating lakes, serene valleys and a vibrant local culture objective remains steadfast to foster an atmosphere of ambition, inclusivity and decisive action in pursuit of our common goals. I want to confine my remarks to relations. Honorable uh, Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Northeastern Region, uh, Shri G. Krishan Reddy Ji, shaped the tourism sector in our countries and globally to contribute to the sustainable development goal of our nations and create opportunities and for growth and development of our people. May I now request the Chief Coordinator, G20 Secretariat, Sri Harshwardhan Shingla, to offer, deliver his address. Honorable uh, Minister of Tourism, Culture and the Northeastern Region, uh, Sri G. Krishan Reddy Ji, uh, Honorable uh, Minister of State, uh, Independent Charge for Science and Technology and Earth Sciences, Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, Honorable Minister of State for Tourism, uh, Sri Ajay Bhatt Ji, uh, Honorable Lieutenant Governor of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, uh, Sri Manoj Sinha Ji, uh, Honorable G20 Sherpa Amit Tapkan Ji, Secretary of Tourism, Sri Arvind Singh Ji, OSD for the Ministry of Tourism, Srimati Vidyavati, Distinguished Ambassadors and High Commissioners and G20 Delegates, Friends, Namaskar and good morning. Let me begin by joining uh, Secretary of Tourism and extending a very warm welcome uh, to Srinagar, to all of our G20 delegates for the Working Group on Tourism this morning. Uh, I want to confine my remarks to a few points. First and foremost, uh, our thanks and appreciation to the government of uh, the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir for the excellent arrangements made. Uh, we have had the opportunity to begin preparations some time back and uh, we have seen remarkable transformations in the urban environment and in terms of many of the arrangements that have been made, especially for this G20 meeting. I hope our delegates will have the opportunity to visit this uh, newly renovated smart city of Srinagar, uh, its iconic and historic sites that are here, the markets that are uh, second, uh, as you are aware, we are midway through India's G20 presidency with uh, having hosted 118 meetings in 46 different cities of our country so far. Um, third, uh, of course, as Secretary Tourism has said, this is uh, the third meeting of the Working Group on Tourism. The first meeting was in the Rana of Kutch in the western part of India, the second in Darjeeling in the eastern part. And the third, of course, in Srinagar and Jammu and Kashmir, in the northern part of our country. Of course, as I mentioned to you, uh, Srinagar is perhaps one of our most iconic tourism locations and I think we are very privileged to be here. Uh, I think the uh, historic uh, couplet that you will see in the Shalimar Bagh when you visit it. That Celebrations and on the agenda for sustainable development, which would leverage tourism development for achieving 
Sustainable Development Goals. Under the broad theme of travel for life, the G20 tourism track is also working to further the achievement of green, inclusive and resilient tourism development. The voice of the global south and an emerging economy, India's presidency's focus on tourism has been guided by efforts to build back the tourism sector better following the COVID-19 pandemic globally. Ladies and gentlemen, the tourism sector has very critical role to play in skilling, reskilling and upskilling for the tourism sector and all of us have to into the way for traditional and new sectors and areas of work in tourism which will be dominated by MSMEs and startups in the coming year. The inclusion of Srinagar as an export based sectors while focusing on sustainable tourism. Ladies and gentlemen, over the next two days you will truly experience why this part of the world is called heaven on earth. As our Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi emphasizes, tourism is the jewel in India's crown and tourism is a natural magnet for tourism with its alpine forest, uh, high mountains, lakes, uh, ski slopes and verdant valleys. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the people of Jammu and Kashmir have always complemented the natural beauty and bounty of this place with their rich tradition of warmth and hospitality. This is the bedrock for creating a successful tourism experience. Last year, we had record number of tourists in this Jammu and Kashmir, which is the highest in 75 years of India's independence. Ladies and gentlemen, we are extremely grateful for to all of you for joining us in, in this beautiful city of Kashmir in Srinagar. This is a record number of delegates that we have received amongst all, all the working groups. Uh, and this is the highest number of delegates that we have received and we are very thankful to all of you who have come from different parts of India. I would like to particularly thank the Lieutenant Governor, Mr. Manoj Sinha and his full team and I would also like to thank uh, the Honorable Minister of Tourism, Mr. Kishan Reddy and the Secretary, Mr. Arvind Singh for the extremely constructive ideas, inputs for the substantial not merely the substantial part of the discussions which will follow after this inaugural session, but for the very, very uh, uh, constructive and very, very uh, fine arrangements that they have done here. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir. It is now my honor to invite respected Lieutenant Governor of the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, Sri Manoj Sinaji, to share his thoughts with us. Honorable Union Minister of Tourism and Culture, Sri G. Kishan Reddy Ji, invitees from the observer countries, delegates of G20 nations, friends from tourism sector and media, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir for the third tourism working group meeting under the Presidency of India. I hope you are enjoying the warm hospitality and pristine beauty of Srinagar. Dear friends, since eternity, Jammu Kashmir is known as Crown Jewel of India and today I would like to say that it is a matter of great pride for 13 million citizens of this Union territory to host this G20 meeting of Tourism Working Group that is deliberating on global architecture for sustainable tourism. Friends, Jammu Kashmir have always been a center of wisdom, knowledge, inclusive culture and breathtaking landscape that is divine to travelers. Famous poet Amir Khusro while describing the natural beauty of Jammu and Kashmir in 13th century had said and I quote, Gar Firdaus if there is a paradise on earth, it is this, it is this, it is this. So it is not surprising that in the modern days, one of the oldest travel guide book published at Lonely Planet chose to call Jammu Kashmir as Switzerland of India. Friends, for almost 30 years, this land of peaceful coexistence of almost all religious sects had to suffer state-sponsored terrorism 
by our neighboring country. However, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, through development schemes that empowers masses and union territories effective administration, isolated the terror ecosystem which thrived with the support from across the border. Jammu Kashmir is witnessing a new era that has opened limitless possibilities of growth and peace. Now even foreign investments are also coming into Jammu and Kashmir. Green suits of better times people are anxiously looking up to. Friends and you through broad contours of our deep dive initiatives to demonstrate India's resolve that Jammu and Kashmir should also benefit from the virtues of democracy like the rest of the states and union territory tools and it also ensures that incredible ecology is protected and promoted. We are grateful to Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Modi for his consistent effort to develop Jammu and Kashmir as one of the most sought of Kistawar, Sanasar, Gurej, Patnita are now on the global tourism map and offering stunning scenery, skying, snowboarding, trekking, beautiful and iconic mountain ranges, spiritual experiences and rich cultural canvas. Several destinations in Jammu Kashmir are living examples of connect between the ancient and the modern, inclusive culture, history, music and traditional cuisine that can truly provide elevated travel experiences to the people. We are developing the country's first book village on the banks of Uller Lake and many hiking trails for tourists who love tranquility of nature. Our aim is to make the countryside and popular destinations more sustainable and preserve the beauty of fascinating heritage sites. I am confident under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Modi, Jammu Kashmir will soon find its place in the top 50 destinations in the world and it will be on the travel bucket list of global, tra global travelers. Through this empowered gathering, I invite the world to Jammu and Kashmir. Give us a chance to host you and for you to know us. Come, enjoy and rejuvenate yourself. With these words, I once again welcome delegates of G20 nations. I wish you all a fruitful, enlightened discussion and positive outcomes that will help us building a global architecture for sustainable growth in tourism sector. I hope you will also enjoy our warm hospitality and breathtaking views of Dal Lake. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. I would like to express gratitude to Honorable <coughs> Lieutenant Governor for sharing his thoughts and would also like to thank him for the wonderful hospitality extended by the administration under his leadership to all the G20 delegates and invitees who are present here. Now I would like to invite Honorable Union Minister of State for Science and Technology, Sri Jitendra Singh Ji, to share his thoughts with us. Honorable Minister for Tourism, Government of India, Shri Ji Kishan Reddy Ji, Minister of State, Shri Ajay Bhatt Ji, Lieutenant Governor Shri Manoj Sena, Sherpa Shri Amitabh Kant, Coordinator of Mr. Shangrila, Secretary of Tourism Arvind Singh, OSD Tourism Vidyavati Ji, Senior Officers from the Ministry of Tourism, and most importantly, our revered guests and delegates from different G20 and NYT countries. At the outside, it is my pleasure to welcome you all. Incidentally, this also happens to be my native place. And it's also equally gratifying for me to be a part of this event. It's a bright sunny morning today on the banks of Dal Lake. And I must say that it's a special year indeed for India, the year of 2023. This is the year when India got the opportunity to host G20 under the leadership of Prime Minister Mr. Narendra Modi, 
This also happens to be the International Year of Millet, which was again at the behest of India, one of the staple diets in many parts of the country, which is happening for the second time, it was about eight years back. It was the UN on this proposal of India declared International Day of Yoga, the 21st of June. So I think it's a very auspicious uh, timing of the event happening from different parts of the country being here. As you all know, the and as, as you've been going around since yesterday, I'm sure this visit of yours will also add some added value with the picturesque uh, scenic beauty around and of course the cuisine which you might have tasted yesterday and would continue to do today as well. I think coming straight to G20 presidency, I'm sure you must have realized that the theme which is very thoughtfully worked upon by Prime Minister Modi is Vasudev Kutumbakam, which in other words means one earth, one family, one future. And if you give it a deeper thought, it is in fact a reflection of the reverence that traditionally India has for the value of life, life in its all forms, the agriculture sector. And therefore, I think it's also some kind of a distinction of the place where we are sitting today to discuss tourism in various facets. When we discuss it in various facets, the agri-tourism combined with the agri-tech is also one important salient feature of the place that we have gathered today. I'm sure when we go back from here, we shall go back wiser than before and also much, much more resolved to work together cohesively for the common cause and the common challenge that we face. Thank you once again. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for your insights and remarks. May I request the Honorable Minister for Tourism, Culture and Development of Northeastern Re Region, Sri G. Kishan Reddy, to welcome the delegates and deliver his address. Namaskar. Good morning, one and all. Honorable Lieutenant Governor of Jammu Kashmir, Sri Manoj Sinaji, my elder brother, Minister in Government of India, Sri Dr. Jitendra Singh Ji, my ministerial colleague in tourism, Sri Ajay Bhatt Ji, G20 Sherpa, respected Amitabh Kanji, Tourism Secretary, Government of India, Sri Arvind Singh Ji, G20 Coordinator, Sri Arshavardhan Ji, Tourism, Ministry of Tourism, Government of India, OSD, Srimati Vidyavad Ji, Respected Ambassadors, and delegates from G20 member countries, invite countries, distinguished heads of the international organizations, senior government officials of the government of India and government of Jammu Kashmir, dignitaries and friends from the media. Welcome to all the G20 members and invite countries for third meeting of the Tourism Working Group under the India's G20 Presidency in historic city in Srinagar. Friends, I would like to begin by highlighting the significance of progress made by the Tourism Working Group in last two meetings. All five priorities of the Tourism Working Group are green tourism, digitalization, skills, tourism MSMEs, and uh, destination management things gives me confidence in the positive and meaningful direction that the working group is taking. The ideas will aid in developing tourism in mission mode in the globe. The summit will witness the going through agenda of the third tourism working group meetings. I am happy to see 
that a tourism working group is progressing in the right direction. I am sure that the joint efforts of all the G20 members, invitee countries, international organizations will result in the achievement of inclusive and action-oriented decisive guidelines for the tourism industry. I wish you enjoy your stay and return to India over and over again with family and friends and citizens of your respected countries. I am confident that across the country in India, wherever you go, Indians are treating you, greeting you like their own family. Friends, we will, for coming two days, we will discuss with positively and uh, with uh, respectively and the contribution with the good ideas, best ideas and uh, for, uh, for upcoming tourism activities in globe. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Vajai Hind.